Hi, this is Christine from geckogullywebsites.com. Something that people often ask me to do is to redirect their domain name to somewhere else. So to give you an example, um, this particular person has got a website that she's not very happy with, but she doesn't really want a website anymore. She does already have a very active Facebook page. And so I suggested to her, well, until you've made a decision about whether you want a website or not, why not just redirect your domain name to your Facebook page? And then anybody who goes to your domain name, maybe from a business card or previous correspondence, will actually be redirected to your Facebook page. So here's how you do that. Um, let's assume that you do have actual hosting for your domain name. Um, your hosting, you would normally get access to a thing called cPanel, um, C-P-A-N-E-L. That's written up here. I don't know if you can see it clearly enough, but cPanel. To log into your cPanel, you would normally go to your domain name slash cPanel and then log in, and you would have given been given your login details by your web hosting company. If they didn't give you um, cPanel login details, then it'd be best to ask them, where do I go to get access to my cPanel? Now, some hosting packages won't allow you access to cPanel, but let's just assume that you do have access because about 80 or 90% of them do. So once you log into cPanel, and by the way, if you're with GoDaddy, it's going to look completely different. So talk to GoDaddy. Okay, so once you've logged into your cPanel, this, you'll see something like this. So what we need to do is we need to scroll down to the domain section and we need to click on redirects. So I'll click on redirects. Now, in this case, um, this lady has a, a couple of different domain names on this hosting. So we're going to click here and we're going to choose the one that she wants to redirect. And we're, where we want to redirect it to is her Facebook page. So that's the address of her Facebook page. Now, the next section here says, do we want to redirect it only if they've got the www in the front? Do we want to redirect it if they actually don't redirect the www? Or do we want to redirect it whether or not the www is there? Now, I usually use this, redirect with or without the www, because usually you want to do the same thing with either the with or without the w's. Okay, so normally you would tick that one. And then whether somebody puts the w's in the front or not, it's going to redirect. The next thing you need to tick is this wildcard redirect. Now what that means is that if somebody doesn't type in just the homepage address, but they actually type in a, a sub page like contact us or something like that, the redirect will still take <clears throat> excuse me, it will still take effect. Now that will happen if you've got like a post on a blog or you've you know someone else's blog, or you've got a you know Facebook link or something like that you know, elsewhere on the internet and people will often be trying to get into a, you know, one of the sub pages on your uh, website. So it's a really good idea to tick this wildcard redirect. Unless, of course, you only want to redirect homepage stuff, but generally you're going to want to redirect everybody. And then you click on add. Now I know for a fact that I'm going to get an error message here, but I'm going to show you what you do about that error message. Normally that is all you do. Okay, normally it will say, yes, fine, it's worked. And you go, woo, and it's worked, and you go away and test it, and it works fine. If you get this error message, it says the system failed to add the redirect because of the following errors. And it says unable to write to .ht access, and then it's got the address of the .ht access file. What this is doing when we set up a redirect, we're actually adding an entry to a file called .ht access. And Whenever somebody goes to your domain name, what happens is uh, the programs that make up the internet, the browser if you like, it will look at the .ht access file and it'll say, is there anything special I need to know before I try to access the information which is on this website? So in this case, the special information we need to know is actually, don't go here, go somewhere else, okay? So what we need to do is we need to be able to update the .ht access file. Now, Quite often, the .ht access file will be modified so that people can't actually update it, okay? There's things called permissions for files. So we can actually, it's actually more secure to not allow the updating of this file to, um, because it's one way that hackers can get into your hosting is to allow updating of the file. So 
if you get an error message like this saying unable to redirect what we need to do is we need to go to the file manager now I've just I've taken one step too many I'll go back to the home page of the cPanel because file manager is within cPanel and to get to the file manager we go down to files and we click on file manager and when we do that we get a screen which looks something like this now your .ht access file will probably be in public underscore HTML, which is basically the you know the the main folder or directory where all your stuff is kept. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to find it, and here it is here .ht access. Then once we click on it, we're going to click up here where it says change permissions. So we click on that. Now, as you can see, it says 444. What we want is we want it to be 644. So in order to achieve that, we got to tick on the right box under the user column. So we want it to be 644. Now, 644 is the normal default setting for the .ht access file. In this particular case, we changed it, or I changed it for this lady, to 444 to make it more secure. So we've changed it there to 644 and we click on change permissions. Now we'll go back to our redirects thing. Go back here. And now this should work. Paste that in there. Oh, I didn't select the domain. Thought it looked funny. Okay, so that's her domain. We've ticked wildcard redirect. We've got redirect with or without the www. And I'll click add. And there we go. Now it says patchworkpromises.com.au is currently being direct, redirected to that thing. So let's do a little test. I'll copy that. I'll go to a new browser window. I'll paste that in and I'll hit enter. Now it's actually redirected me to her Facebook page, which is taking a little while to load as Facebook sometimes does. So there you go. So that's how you do a redirect. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go back into her file manager and I want to change the permissions for her HT access file. Click there to remove that right access so that it's 444 again and change permissions. And it's done. So there you go. So that's how you do it. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, come and visit me, geckogullywebsites.com. Bye.